Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sats Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing a cigar that I'm kind of excited to smoke again. It is the Casa Cuevas La Madaria Oscuro. There we go. See how oily that is? How toothy this is? So I smoked this cigar at Lewis's place when we are doing... Uh, planning and thinking about our cigars and we got like a, a unbended version of the cigar i think and it was really really good so let's see if this bender cigar is gonna be what it is 1350 i don't think it's gonna be hard to reach so um i'm excited to smoke this again okay so first let's take a look at the cigar all right casa cuevas la madaria asquero comes in six by 52 toro 1350 uh stick and it comes in a box of 25. It's the same with the previous uh, La Madaria. The difference is it uses Mexican St. Andreas wrapper, Ecuadorian Habano binder, and a filler it came from Nicaraguan, Pennsylvania, and Dominican Republic. Yeah, it's very toothy, very oily, very dark, the pigtail, and um, open shaggy foot. So we'll see how it goes. And now we should just be able to smoke this cigar and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Yep, I record this on a Sunday, still recovering from my sick. So, I'm trying to get enough videos and add it all together and start putting out at the correct volume for everybody. So, like you know, I know you guys are waiting for videos, but it'll it'll, it'll come, it'll come, it will come. All right. So what I get is uh, like a woodsy and that. Typical San Andreas stink. Very, very stinky. But yeah, that's what it is. This this wrapper is super oily. Super oily. And it's really, really, really toothy. Really toothy. There we go. Like earthy, leathery, and stank. A little bit of woodsiness. That's what I got. <clears throat> Let's use my good lighter, my new lighter, to light the cigar. Toast, toast, toast. My fan is on high right now, as you can see. It's a uh, little light. Uh, the weather is getting hotter, so fan is getting. Yeah, as you can see, the fan is going at it. Still not used to using this lighter. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. On the open foot part. OK, 
bit woodsiness, a little bit charred, a little bit of coffee. Leather, a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of numbing spice. Mm. A little bit of mineral. That's really, really good. Spice is coming up. It's really hitting your nose. Yep, the mineral is coming in. Okay, so I'm going to smoke through this shaggy food and a little bit through the first stir. And then we'll come right back. Let you know how I feel about the cigar. You're right back. Okay, so we're about one third. So the shaggy food part of it, as you smoke it a little bit forward to it, you get a little bit like a fruity graham cracker. And a little bit woodsy tone, cinnamonish taste. As soon as you reach the wrapper, became a mm, a fruity, chocolatey coffee taste. Fruity, chocolatey coffee taste. And there's also like a vanilla, smoky creaminess to it, and the nose. It's what I got right now. And surprisingly, this cigar is about a medium strength. I always think Lama Daria is gonna be a full strength, especially the previous version. I can't, but like when I smoke this, it only gave me about a medium strength feeling. Maybe a ramp up, but right now this is where it is. Uh, smoke output is pretty good. Lighting is pretty good. Um, lighting, like. Holding the fire is pretty good. Dry is okay. And it pairs really good with some coffee. Because I just had some. So. That's the first third. We'll continue to smoke second third. And then we'll be right back. Okay, second third. Good cigar. The smoke is thick. It's clay. It clings onto your taste bud. It's got chocolate, coffee, Vanilla in the retro hill, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of caramel sweetness, a little bit of fruitiness. Stay around medium. Really good cigar. Really flavorful. It's different than how I smoked it the first time though. I don't know why, but the flavor is slightly different than what I remember. So it's a good surprise. Totally within my palate, totally within my smoking enjoyment it's medium it's that's not gonna kill me it's got a lot of flavor it pairs well with coffee everything so far all right so let's take a look at the band if i can remove this here's the second band it says oscuro lama daria easy simple band not crazy um it's the color has changed from the original. It used to be like a maroon red. Now it's just black, which is Oscuro. Get that. And then we have the standard uh, Casa Cueva band. Um, I kind of feel kind of weird because it still have four star in this one. They should have been changed to five star now. I guess they still want the Lama Doria still still the same and not change the band. I mean, if that was me, I would have changed all the band to five because Alec, but now, if they feel like, you know, they want to only have the one Alec has foot in with five stars, it's totally fine. No, no big deal. Same old band. You can always recognize as Casa Cueva band. I'm still waiting for that bell thing. Never got it, but eventually one day. All right. So. Last stir. Let's get into it. Let's see if that anything changes. Finish out for the day. Be right back. All right. Last stir. So. I can knob this thing. It tastes really good. Fruity, chocolatey, coffee, woodsy, a little bit of earthiness, vanilla, caramel, cinnamon, 
a little bit peppery, burns a little bit here and there. Medium strength, a little bit of woodsiness, a little bit of that tobacco. You know what I'm talking about. Smoke output is great. Draw is good. Construction is great. Only gripe I have about the cigar is really that shaggy foot. That part of it really, for me, I don't feel like adds a lot of value to other people might because they can taste that transition. I don't really like that. It's like, it's like going to a restaurant, you order a bunch of food and they give you all the dishes, but they didn't give you rice. And after you eat some of the dishes, then they finally give you the rice, right? So it's like, it's like okay, could, you could have given me the rice first. That kind of thing. But it's not a big deal. Some people like it. Some people don't. I mean, I can see it. Some people like it. Some people don't. Now, once in a while, this does have like a little bit of that stink from like San Andreas or something like that. But it just adds as a cleansing, like palate cleansing work kind of thing. So... Like, I don't mind that at all. I enjoy it. And really pairs well with my coffee today. Really uh, enjoyable. Smoke time is great. Uh, almost two hours for me. In fact, my wife was like, going up to eat dinner. I was like, nah, gotta finish the cigar because it tastes pretty good. So, with that being said. I think this cigar adds more value for me because I don't know. The Original La, La Madoria was uh, a little bit strong for me, but this one is medium. I can enjoy it. It tastes chocolatey and nice and sweet and here and there. It really has more value to me than the original La Madoria. I don't know for some reason. Very toothy, very tasty. Uh, ash looks kind of amazing. I don't know how to show this, but yeah. Uh, no, I can't. I just crumbled it up. Not as good as Eric picking up that now. So. Where does price set? To me, if you ask me how much is the maximum I will willing to pay for this thing, I'll probably say somewhere between fifteen to eighteen dollars. Now that might sound like a lot because it's way more than the MSRP, but somehow in my mind, I keep thinking, would I buy this for eighteen? Yeah, I would, because I would buy Alma Forte at eighteen. And this thing, I, I enjoyed it. Not as much as Amaforte. Keep that in mind. But still enjoyable. And then it really is lighter than Amaforte. It's easier to enjoy than Amaforte. Even though Amaforte does have more body. I just can't stop taking a puff on this thing. It has a lot of flavor. Tastes pretty good. And this cigar also reminds me of a good time. Have a conversation and stuff like that. The first time I smoked it. So... That's where it's got to be, 15 to 18. It's a big gap. It really depends on where you see it. It will happen a solid 17 and a half to 18 easily if there's no shaggy foot for me. But because of that, it's a little bit less, 15, 15 to 18. It's a big range. But if you find anything below that right now, I, I think it's a good time to buy them. Like I really, like I bought a five pack. I'm glad I bought a five pack because I'm going to smoke a few more times. I do enjoy the cigar. Um, I think 13 and a half is really cheap for the cigar. Really cheap for the cigar because a standard price of any budget cigar, not budget cigar, boutique cigar, will happen like $20, uh, $12, $13 already. And this thing, Toro, with that much flavor, that toothy, that oily, that flavorful, I can't see anywhere like in, 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 in a scenario where I will say, hey, this is less than 15 because... I feel like there's a lot to this cigar. Doesn't punch me in the face. That's why I like. Doesn't punch me in the face. Face has sweet note, uh, sweet notes. Has some enjoyable notes in there. A, um, the only bad part, like I said, was the shaggy foot, which goes by really quickly. I think about 15, 20 puff that was gone. So I really get there really quickly, and doesn't give me any issues smoking it. I enjoy it. Watching TV, reading some documents, and drink some coffee. Good cigar. I will recommend it. I will definitely recommend you to try it. If you have a problem with the first original La Madoria, this pretty much solved that problem. It's like, you know, it's like the same thing when I have a problem with uh, 
uh, Casacueva, Connecticut Core line. And when they released the Reserva Natural, that solved all my problem with the Core line, Connecticut, which that became the perfect blend. And this is like that too. It's like it solved all my problem with the original Lampdoria, and this was the perfect it. Like, you know, it's like as if they heard my problem. If like I'm pretty sure Lewis did not hear my gripe about that original Lavadoria thinking that that's always thinking that's a strong cigar, but this wasn't. So he fixed it. And he fixed it. That was a good cigar. So there we go. That will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and hopefully you get to try this cigar too. Uh, I got the cigar from Little Guy. And you know where to find Little Guy. Um, can't tell you where. Just Little Guy. And, uh, and I think I enjoy it. And I think I'll be get, getting more of these the next time I order more cigars. So that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>